one of the good quality of a flyer design has to do with uh, when the design project has already passed the right information to its target audience hello guys welcome to another exciting day welcome to my channel welcome to yj digital world i am your host abu joseph so on today's tutorial video precisely i'll be guiding you through on how to actually create a cryptocurrency flyer design okay using photoshop 2023 if this sounds like what you are actually interested in and you are new to the channel, do it to smash the subscribe button, turn on the post notification bell to get notification whenever I upload new content on my channel. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you for always watching. Please and please don't forget to give this video a like. By doing so, it enables the YouTube algorithm to suggest this uh, video to other designers and other creatives on the YouTube search engine. Okay. So on this tutorial video, we'll be learning how to create proximity in design, okay? We'll learn how to create hierarchy and how to create contrast at the same time, okay, in this tutorial video. So here I have my Photoshop opened, okay? And in order for you to achieve uh, this design, all you have to do is to create a Canva workspace for the design, okay? Basically, this design will be uploaded on social media platforms such as Facebook, Instagram and the rest of them. So I'll slide to file and click on new. On the new document panel that comes up, you set your unit of measurement in inches and the width and height is set on 4x4 precisely. The resolution remains on 300 precisely. Likewise, the color mode remains on RGB, okay? The RGB color mode is for mobile devices and other web platforms. So you click on the OK button, that's that. So over here, I have my Canva workspace on which I'll be designing on. So the first phase of this design process has to do with creating of the background. So I'll slide over to the adjustment and create a gradient fill over here. So on the gradient fill, I have to expand the gradient all the way on my gradient editor so on the gradient editor i'll scroll down i have already created a preset of gradients we'll be using for this tutorial purpose on this end here is the hex code for the color i'm using 72 ea 37 that is the hex code for the color while on this other end the color here is the hex code for the color 0a 5d 1c that is the hex code for the color okay and the opacities for each of these color remains on 100% respectively. So I'll click on the OK button. We we'll set this on area, okay? And after I'm done with that, I'll scale this up to about, let me say, I think this is okay for this. And I'll adjust the position to somewhere around like this, okay? I'll adjust the position. And after I'm done with that, I'll click on the OK button. The next, I have to work on creating a texture effect on the background. So I'll create a texture by hitting Ctrl Shift N on the keyboard to create a new layer. So I'll call this noise precisely. And I'll change the blending mode to soft light. Enable the 50% gray option and click on the OK button. So after I'm done with that, I'll right click on the layer and convert it to a smart object. Okay. So slide over to filter all the way to noise, add noise, okay, and I'm setting my noise as this. I don't need it to be too harsh on the design project. Enable uniform and enable the monochromatic, okay, make sure they are both selected and click on the OK button, that's for that. So after I'm done with that, I'll hold shift, select the last layer of my gradient and hit Ctrl G. I'm trying to make my layer panel. Uh, look neat and organized so I'll call this I'll double click and call this BG which stands for my background okay so the next has to do with uh, placing of other design elements on the Canva but before doing so I always advise you to always turn on your guide so you come to your view guys and new guys layout okay and here are my settings I usually use for my guides precisely and click on okay the guides enable your design to have a good organized structure thereby controlling the eye movement of your audience okay that is for that so the guide that is turned on the next we have to place in the logo okay this is the brand logo over here i'll drag it and position it to somewhere around here like this okay that's for that 
So next we have to do with the main body of text. Okay, the main body of text, I have to place it in. So I'll come over to my notepad and copy out this set of text precisely. Okay, let me start with this precisely. So I'll copy this, click my text to over here, left click and paste in the text. Okay, check. Okay, so for this, I'll change the font to Gotham. Okay, Gotham is the name of the font I'll be using for this. I'll hit enter. Okay, on the Gotham, I'll come to my character panel here. In case you don't have yours here, you can enable it from the window over here. Okay, that's for that. So on the Gotham here, I'll change the style to uh, Ultra. Okay, I'll click on the Ultra. That's for that. And scale this. So increase the tracking to about minus 20. Okay. So after you're done with that, adjust the leadings. That is the space between text on the vertical axis. And after you're done with that, hit Ctrl T to transform. Scale this out this way. Okay. And check. So after you're done with that, you can still come over here. Adjust the 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 leadings this way and change the fill color for the leadings as well to this particular color here is the hex code for the color i'm using precisely 49d5 2d that is the hex code to the color i'm using so i'll come over here and position this to around somewhere like this okay that's for that come to the notepad copy the other set of text okay pick your text to left click and paste in the text okay change the field to white precisely still maintaining the same font gotham then drag and position the text along somewhere like this okay so come to the notepad once more copy out this set of text okay left click pick your text to left click and paste in your text over here ctrl t scale down holding alt left click Hold Alt to scale down the size, left click and drag. Okay, hold Alt, left click and drag to scale down the size from the middle precisely. Okay, so I can choose to scale this up this way and position this around somewhere like this. So you hit the check. Okay, that's for that. So after you are done with that, we we'll move to the next uh, phase of this design by grouping this uh, element uh, or this text together. So I'll come over here. I still need to make a little adjustment to this. Okay, I think this is okay this way. So I'll adjust the position of my text. Okay, and select the first layer, who shift, select the last layer, and group it together and call this uh, main body. Okay, that is for this. So the next has to do with uh, placing of uh, the service. So I'll hit Ctrl T and drag this to somewhere around here like this. Okay, I'll hit the check button. Come over here, right click and pick the rectangle tool. Okay, this way and create a rectangle of this size like this. Okay. So after you are done, you make use of your property panel to add the feel of a little curve to this. In case you don't have your property panel over here, you can enable it from your windows, okay? Click on properties precisely. So you will turn off the feel, okay? On the feel here, I'll be using the same color with the text, okay? For the feel, okay? So I'll click on the OK button for that and make sure that the rectangle layer is actually beneath the icon layer okay that's for that so after i'm done with that adjust the icons okay come to the notepad copy out this other set of text pick your text to left click and paste in your text and change the field to white precisely and for this we'll change the font to montserrat so we change the font to Montserrat for this. Okay. So we'll set this to let me see regular. 
Ctrl T, scale this down this way like this. Okay, and place it along this way. Scale this down once more. Okay, check. Come to your leadings and increase the space. Okay, that's for that. I think this is actually okay like this. So I'll click on hold shift select the icon layer together so make sure the text and the icon layers are selected hit ctrl g to group them okay and after you're done with that hold ctrl on your keyboard your mouse pointer changes to this way you have the rectangle layer here your mouse pointer changes to a hand icon like this left click to make a quick selection of the rectangle make sure the group layer is actually selected okay Pick your move tool and align horizontally and vertically to the center of the rectangle. Ctrl D to deselect. Okay. So after you're done with that, you can still choose to move the rectangle into the same group as this and call this service. Okay. That's for that. So I hit Ctrl T. I can choose to adjust the position like this or still choose to scale it up a little bit that's for that guys okay so after i'm done with this move to a placing of uh, the phone and the social media icons okay so i'll come over here pick my line tool as well left click and hold shift and drag down this way okay after i'm done with that okay i'll left click Hold shift and drag horizontally this way like this so after i'm done with that i'll release my mouse okay S select the two layers make sure the two lines layers are actually uh, selected and you come to where you have stroke under your property okay and enable this to about two pixels precisely and change the field to white okay that is for that okay so all i have to do is to hit ctrl t use my move to and position this to overlap with this precisely okay so that's for that so i can hit ctrl j to make a duplicate use my navigation key to adjust the position like this okay so let me adjust this like this okay that's for that so i can come over here select the three line layers okay ctrl t and drag and position it around your guide like this okay make sure they are overlap properly okay that's for that so ctrl h okay this is how it actually looks so come over here and take the socials up this way enable the socials okay ctrl t to transform and drag and position it to somewhere around here like this okay that is for the socials okay so the next come to the notepad over here copy out all this other set of information pick your text to left click and paste in this text okay we are still making use of the Montserrat font for this precisely so this i will scale this down the size okay so for this i will adjust the leadings so i'll increase the style to bold or extra bold precisely let me see how it comes how it looks okay i think this is okay like this so i'll come over here position this like this ctrl t and scale this down like this so you make sure that it's aligned with your socials as well okay that's for that ctrl h to hide your guide I can still choose to adjust their position like this as well okay select the whole layers okay 
select this whole shift select this and group them together okay by making them one family so i'll call this uh, info okay that's for that so after i'm done with this we'll move to uh placing of uh, our illustration for the design so i'll come to where i have my resource i'll drag this into so i'll drag this png image into my my canva over here okay hold alt scale down to the middle and position into around somewhere like this okay i am hit the check button okay that's for that so i can still choose to bring in another image this is a png image i'll be using for illustration purpose as well i'll place it to somewhere around here like this so i'll place it to somewhere around like this okay check okay come over here hit ctrl t scale this down and position this like this as well okay that's for that so i need to still work on the model okay so I'll come to the camera roll all the way to on the filter all the way to camera roll precisely so on the camera roll here i'll make little adjustment to my exposure okay make me little adjustment to the exposure and likewise the contrast okay scroll down to clarity and increase the clarity okay boost up your clarity to let me say about i think this is okay like this so I'll click on the okay button that is for the clarity okay so this is without the camera raw and this is with the camera raw filter applied on it okay so guys we have come to the end of uh, this tutorial video at the beginning i made mention that we will learn about how to create contrast okay and one of the ways you can create contrast is by using different shade of colors as well and in terms of size that is another way you can create contrast okay and in terms of uh, doing something that is totally different from the way other things are on your design is another way of creating contrast okay and another way of creating hierarchy is by size precisely okay you would like to make a particular set of text more uh, visible than the other that is the way you create hierarchy in your design precisely as well as proximity proximity has to do with uh, grouping a category set of uh, information or elements together in form of a family okay like for this as well this uh, main body i group them together okay thereby using space to create a a, a the gap between them and other uh, set of uh, elements and text on the design thereby creating proximity okay there's a proximity between the set of uh, text this group of text with this likewise this other set of uh, information okay that is one of the ways you can create proximity so ladies and gentlemen we have come to the end of today's tutorial if you do find this video helpful do well to give this video a like okay do well to give this video a like by doing so it enables the youtube algorithm to suggest this content to other creators to other designers on the youtube search engine and if you are new to the channel and yet to subscribe do well to smash the subscribe button turn on the post notification to get notification whenever i upload new content on my channel and if you're a returning subscriber, thank you for always watching. And if you are yet to join the Telegram group, do well to join the Telegram group. The link is in the pinned comments below. Okay. And if you're able to achieve any project with the help of any of my tutorial, do well to always tag me whenever you upload them on your socials. Okay. Do well to tag me. Okay. And if you have any questions, any comments, you can leave your comments and your questions in the comment section, okay? And don't forget to share this video with other creatives around you. So thank you guys for watching.